Hey guys, it's Summer Shadow 001 back at it again with the video games. Back at it again with Destiny 2. Um, let's talk about Destiny right now and how I feel about recent stuff that's been going on, stuff that's been happening. And I guess let's just talk about this season in general. So if you don't know, my previous video I mentioned that the last step of Felwinter's Lie, the whole quest, is bugged. No one can get in, no one can complete the quest, which is upsetting and has made a lot of people angry, including myself, especially for the people who grinded to get those Seraph Tower public events done, to get those shotgun kills done. It really makes a lot of people mad, including myself. And normally I like to stay positive when it comes to situations like this, but I can't. I literally all, all of my patience has run out at this point with, with Destiny and Bungie. And I know it's unforeseen, it's not their fault and I'm not blaming them, but it just couldn't have come at a worse time and for me this cements currently right now that this is the worst time the destiny franchise has ever been and i'm serious about that it is the worst time it has ever been not just the fact that trials flopped and no one wants to play trials because of because of many things. Nothing is rewarding. The only PvE content we ever got for the season was basically a glorified public event. Bugs, glitches, people getting kicked out of the game, getting error coded, cheaters running rampant throughout PC. This has to stop. It has to. This is easily the worst time to be a Destiny player. The community is completely fed up with all of this. People are leaving in droves. Even YouTubers are straight up leaving the game altogether and saying that they won't play for a long time. Many people, Cruiser especially, said he's completely done. He's not playing the game for a few months. I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be playing this game for uh, for a while because of this season. And that stinks. It's, it's bad. But there is no denying that this season has been a complete and utter shit show. It's been bad. Pardon my language, but it, it really has been. It's... And, and if we were to rank the worst DLCs slash seasons we've ever had. Let's just say in Just Destiny 2 alone, it would, this would easily be in the top three. Actually, this would probably be number one for me. Curse of Osiris is pretty bad, and most people probably put Curse of Osiris either above this or just slightly above. But uh, yeah, Curse of Osiris was horrible. Season of the Drifter was also pretty bad. If you don't like Gambit like I did anyway, I hated Season of the Drifter. And then there's this. It's just bad thing after bad thing after glitch after error code after everything. It's just every single time there's something bad with the game. There's someone that's completely upset with the game. Something bad has happened. Something major has shaken up the whole thing and not in a good way that it's just that everyone's patience has just completely run out at this point. And I agree. I can't I can't really handle <laughs> this stuff anymore. And not to mention that they're they they have maintenance right now. The game's not down, but they're doing maintenance and the fact that the background maintenance won't be done till till 2 p.m. PDT, which if you live on the East Coast like I do is not until 5 p.m. It's 1 right now, so I have to wait 4 hours. 
and that's assuming if they find out what's the problem with it and they get it fixed if not then they'll probably then they'll probably have the hot fix tomorrow and if they don't fix it then then it's way worse than we could have imagined and it probably won't get fixed for a while and that was the problem with curse of osiris a lot of the stuff in curse of osiris didn't get fixed until a year later so or if you talk about everything didn't get fixed till a year later Warmind started it with fixing the sandbox and making that better. But Forsaken was only it was the expansion that really fixed all of that. And of course, you, you're always going to have problems with a game. That's always going to happen. But not to this level. You shouldn't have something to this level. I know Corona is a big part of this. A lot of people are working from home, and I get that. I understand that. I didn't expect these, these next this season and next season to really be that crazy good because of what's going on uh i had high hopes for season of uh, of the worthy mainly because season of the dawn had some really awesome stuff and some not so awesome stuff but it had some really cool things but like this whole season has just nothing just i got nothing for it it's it's not good. It's not rewarding. There's no reason to play it. Honestly, this is the one time in Destiny where I haven't, you know, where I just don't play unless there's something new. The only the only times I've ever played during the season straight up was Fourth Horseman Quest, which was even bugged then because they had the wrong Lost Sector showing, so that was bugged. They fixed that pretty fast though. That was a quick fix. It was that Guardian Games in order to get Era Parent and now to get to get this fell winter's lie that's the only times i've really played in this whole season um because i didn't want to do the seraph tower public events i thought they were boring they weren't fun to me uh doing the bunkers was not fun at all clearing them out every single day wasn't fun the legendary lost sectors were maybe the only good thing about this that i, that I really liked about this season but other than that the season's been pretty bad. It's been the worst it can be. Not just for Destiny 2, but the whole Destiny franchise. Like, I have never seen anything this bad. Vanilla Destiny 1 was never this bad. Dark Below was never this bad. Not even Curse of Osiris was this bad. Curse of Osiris is pretty close, but it was never this bad. Um... I honestly, I just got nothing left for the game right now. And, I, I mean, honestly, I, I'm still going to play it. I still want to play it. I, I'm still going to cover Destiny on this channel. I, I love Destiny. I don't want to give up on Destiny. But right now, if stuff doesn't, you know, get ship shape, as we still have 22 days left until the season ends, then I'm not really going to be a part of, part of it if this continues. So... That's my spiel for what we're talking about with uh, Season of the Worthy. So I, I recommend if you guys do end up buying Seasons later uh, next year, skip this one entirely. Skip Season of the Worthy entirely. The exotics aren't really that worth it. It's, it's not worth your time. Season of the Worthy is not worth your time at all. Uh, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to end the video right here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. What are your thoughts on Season of the Worthy and uh, how it's going? But make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Napagando. Las Luces.